Hi everybody, I'm Jared Dillingham in Rome. The Vatican is of course one of the top spots to visit if you head here, so I want to show you what you can expect if you decide to visit what is the world's smallest country. And that is Vatican City, 100 acres in size. Now the most important piece of advice is go with a group to avoid this crowd early in the morning. The Vatican opens to the public each day between 9 and 10, and if you wait until then, this is the smallest crowd you can expect. This was midweek in the winter, and by opening, the line to get in already stretched around the corner of the Vatican in both directions. Now you can find tour options which will get you inside as early as 8 a.m. You'll pay more, but it's worth it to avoid the hassle of this line. Also, watch out for changes to the Vatican's schedule due to Catholic Holy Days and feasts, especially around Christmas and Easter. And speaking of the holidays, the Vatican has a huge wooden manger out with life-size figures, plus a tree and more for Christmas. And no matter the time of year, you'll notice security is tight outside. Inside, you'll have to go through metal detectors before entering the seemingly endless number of halls and rooms full of the Vatican-owned art collection. You'll see busts, fountains, beautiful courtyards, famous statues, and my favorite, the mosaic floors. These are 2,000-year-old Roman mosaic tile floors still in perfect condition. The black and white stones are from this part of Italy, while some of the other intricate designs have come here from all over the world. Some have been dismantled piece by piece from other spots and painstakingly reassembled on the Vatican floors. There's one thing I can't show you. That's inside the Sistine Chapel. They don't allow photography of any kind, even if you turn your flash off, because Fuji, the camera company, the film company, owns the rights, the copyright to inside the Sistine Chapel. They paid to have it cleaned back in the 90s and as a payment to them, they get the copyright, so no one can take photos inside the Sistine Chapel without paying them a fee. But the Sistine Chapel is not the only beautifully painted ceiling at the Vatican. It is full of them, and they are stunning and seemingly endless in the long Vatican halls. Also lining the halls, centuries-old tapestries. While they may appear drab and brown, to modern-day visitors, they used a sparkle of silver. Over time, the silver threads woven in have tarnished and turned brown, and there's really no way to polish a tapestry back to its former glory. You'll also get a complete history of what we now refer to as Pope Mobiles, which were these ornate, horse-drawn carriages until fairly recently. As for when to visit, maybe consider coming during the winter months when temperatures are still in the 50s or 60s during the day, and the crowds are quite a bit smaller.